I made a couple of videos recently about Battlefield 6 because, as we all know, the hype is real. We're expecting a game at the end of this year. But my question is today, what if it all goes wrong? When people have been putting comments in the comment section below on my previous videos, a lot of them are saying that this is their last chance, Dyson EA's last chance to impress and give a decent game. And I think I'm in that boat as well, because if they get it wrong for me this time, then that's me done with the Battlefield franchise. But regardless of what people who are putting comments in my comment section are saying, what do you think as per a company, do you think the consequences are if this game is not pretty much near perfect? The community can become very vocal when it comes to the Battlefield franchise. Um, there are a uh, wild bunch at times, um, but for good reason sometimes. Um, so if it, the next game is as much as a mess of Battlefield 5, then what, like I say, are the consequences going to be? Because there's investors, there's people above DICE and pretty much above EA as a company because we know there's um, someone who's in charge but to be honest the people who really are in charge are the investors and that's why I think that these these people um, are going to be a lot more mad than the community itself because they've got a lot of money invested so I think if they don't get this game right on this iteration they are going to be in big trouble or the Battlefield franchise is going to be in big trouble Stocks and shares and the people with the money are the make and break of games. Look what has what has recently happened to Cyberpunk 77. You know, investors are not happy. These people wanting to take them to court. If they've got a case or not, I'm not really sure. But if people start pulling money out because they think a franchise is in trouble, then the franchise will be in trouble. It'll be in a lot more trouble than, you know, the man on the street, me and you, will, you know, realise because it's the money men that keep the franchises going. I mean, we buy the game and we obviously support the game by, you know, purchasing um, titles. But having said that, if there's nothing there in the beginning from these people who are giving millions and millions of pounds because they want a return, if these people pull out, then a franchise is going to be in trouble. And I think that possibly could happen to Battlefield. I love the Battlefield franchise, so I really don't want this to happen. Um, but you've got to look at these things realistically. I mean, as a community, we, we love the game, but we do quickly get up in arms when something goes wrong. There is one saving grace, and I think it was an excellent move by Dyson EA, and that was to give um, the developers another year to develop this game. We don't know for sure how long it has been in development, but I'm sure it's been a lot longer than we actually think. Um, so hopefully with the extra time they've had, I think we possibly could get something really special. Be interesting to know what your thoughts are on this subject. Do you think if they balls this game up this time that that could be the end of the Battlefield franchise? Do you think that Battlefield can never die? Let me know, put it in the comments below and we can have a discussion about it. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon and tick it so you get notifications of when I'm uploading new videos. And this is Mr. Devlin. Again, I'm going to say it's still optimistic about Battlefield 6 and out.